and almost purchased the power of this party into their pockets and claiming to be aiming towards 2020 when I know, when some of you should know, that their aim is not really towards 2020. Like, guys, this is not for everyone. I mean, don't try this. Don't go and talk to your family elders like this. You know, that could be your head. Now, you're not too old, you know, to dirty your hands. I mean, once in a while, get into the gutter, distill, distill the indiscipline, incompetence, and impunity. That's one thing we saw in this video, clearly. <laughs> Uh, you can't get this man. Well, it's just sad that we've not had a very good enough system that will instill discipline on our roads after all these years, right? But you see, you can't kill yourself. <laughs> Do your best, but uh, be real as much as possible and learn to laugh at yourself sometimes too. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we be free freestyle, you vote for Nana. Be beer, gala for you like it free. As HS, you like it free. Small show with us. I will do for you to pay me. Who's it free? I'm really free. Who bury me there? I will top you. Who bury the boom in your heart? You're in trouble. Yeah, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, it means trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, delay of a free, <laughs> but or can I nine to so on person make him free show? Yeah, fond memories, learning to laugh. I mean, that was fantastic, Clemento. Clemento, that was fantastic. But uh, now the sad thing is we are seeing late flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rollins, right? Wow. I mean, sleep soundly, Mr. Boom. Uh, you've left legacies and memories behind you. Yeah, some are painful, others are joyous. He is a big tree, an oak tree, that we've all been resting today. The tree is uprooted. Who shed? Who will shelter us? Who will shelter us again? Who, who, who will shelter us again? Oh, Jerry, you kill yourself for Ghana. You kill yourself for Ghana. This wouldn't have been your end, though, but God knows best. Rollins was an institution for me. He stood for so many things. He showed leadership, he showed integrity. And show compassion. All right, thank you all. Uh, please, while we all mourn, I know we are mourning. Remember that um, if you are to show up at any gathering in the name of the Rollins, especially the funeral, without a nose mask, he himself is likely to give you a knock. So do well to wear your nose mask. Take good care of yourself. When you cry small, eat small. I beg you, don't starve yourself, and don't forget to bath. I am in your In fact, don't use the morning bureau. That's an excuse not to be buffy. Boys, you like that? Say, boys, it's better than no. I'm better grow too much. I am in your eye. Now, free water wall. Now, before Mr. Boom decided to leave us behind this week, I became extra convinced God loves me more than I could ever think of. Ask me why. Well, I was wrong. They say, e. I did your mama's, you know, fire towels at Martin Amidui. I'm in the BBI in here next week. What am, what am I going to do? Because um, for sure, I, I, was, I was certain that Martin Amidui wasn't going to say anything in the name of national security, I mean, national security and, um, you know, the closeness of the elections and all that. He wouldn't respond to John Mohammed's, you know. The, then I was driving on some of the worst roads ever, like ever. In the history of time, I know <laughs> it's in uh, draw some first consequences. We will get to that anyway. I was going here, yeah, then I heard Zoe on the news that uh, Martin Amidu has <laughs> spread pepper <laughs> on your mama, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna move and I'm a pack here. <laughs> Now, this was my mood. <laughs> I couldn't simply wait for Friday to come again. This was my mood. <laughs> I was really 
excited. I mean, Mr. Amidu, uh, this week, uh, he showed the world how dramatic he can be. Some say petty, but I choose to say dramatic. If you're a man, man up. Any person aspiring to be the president for a second term who does not know that a cardinal principle in security and intelligence is that caution is the best part of valor was not and is not worth the vote. Your Excellency, the wise and the brave former president John Dramani Mahama, man up, wise up and be brave enough to come with two lawyers of your own choice to be cautioned and interrogated by this office to demonstrate your valor and wisdom as not being elected government official one and also as not being the first guarantor to Samuel Adam Mahama's passport application. I don't know what Martin Amidu will have to say about Rollins, but I really don't want to be in his shoes right now. Your boss's opponents say, ah, you are nya. <laughs> now your boss's people do say, you are too nya. <laughs> One human being, why? <laughs> Prosecutor did was to, what you call um, um, risk assessment. That's a corruption risk assessment. There has no evidence that anything was corrupted. There's no evidence that any law was breached. What is saying that if I look at the entire thing, there's a potential, there's a risk. But that is what is called opinion. In his opinion. <laughs> at least, as much as the government's people may not like Martin I mean, you know, their tolerance of his effectiveness cannot be compared to... Uh, do I say his opposite number? Well, Daniel Yaldome level and his deputies, Charlie, <laughs> witch hunting has never been explained so simply. Da, I'm telling you. According to the audit report, Daniel Yaldome level spent over 400,000 Ghana cities from the period 2017 to 2020. Mr. Domelevo, within the period captured, traveled 43 times out of the country and spent a total of 276 days out of Ghana. The acting auditor general, John Senesidu Ekuamwa, traveled 10 times out of the country and spent a total of 114 days out of the country at the cost of close to 50,000 Ghana cities. Deputy auditor general, George Swansea Winfall, within three years, traveled 19 times out of the country, spent 191 days at the cost of over 250,000 Ghana cities. Now, people say government fights those who seem to be fighting corruption the hardest. But picture this. I am corrupt, and I am driving a Ferrari, right? Now, in order to look not so corrupt, I give you anti-corrupt and Aboboya to chase me. But when you, anti-corrupt, change the engine of the Aboboya to a Picanto so that you can catch up with me, you know, the Formula One driver, no? <laughs> then I say, ah, you people, you see, you're anti-corrupt. He's now out competing my corruption. That's very convincing, right? Does it make sense to you? Is this picturesque? Yeah, now if I were a Sunday school teacher, I would have used Domelevo's story to tell the Daniel story of old. Ah, it's not, it's not interesting that uh, he's called Daniel too. <laughs> Open Adams are trying so hard to find a fault. They have even thrown him into the lion's den, but uh, guess what? The lions are holding a peace work with uh, Daniel. <laughs> we are just waiting for the lions to finally chop those who are chopping the money. Where, where, <laughs> where, where? Now, ladies and gentlemen, to my favorite person of all time, Terminator One. Twenty-one gun salute, yeah, man. From the viewpoint of government, even if we lose that revenue. And the people of this country, the traveling public, the motoring public, are not inconvenienced eh? and, and, and do not suffer discomfort. It's worth losing that revenue because we cannot sacrifice the comfort, the safety, and the convenience of the good people of this country for the revenue that will be derived from this tow boot. No. Yes, 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 yes. Ladies and gentlemen, um, that was Terminator 1 terminating here <laughs> only because, only because he experienced unbearable traffic that we are used to, maybe for the first time since he became a Terminator. Friends, 
Is the elephant really in touch with the daily struggles of the everyday Ghanaian? Like, like what people endure every day? That, that told Booth, that made him declare that thing. Just look at it. Just look at it. Ghanaians, that's just how unbearable the traffic on the road is. But the elephant and his umbrella classmates, eh? <laughs> they are always zooming past us in convoys. They never stay in traffic, so they don't understand our struggle. So until fellow Ghanaians and his elephant size appointees feel our pain small, nothing changes. So me, I have a suggestion for Terminator 1. Domekwa Benya Rose. Jesus, see. If bad roads could spread COVID-19, Anka Adjua Safo's constituency will be a hot spot. In fact, it will be an epicenter. I am saying your leg, Mekawa 9. Ridiculous. Unbelievable. We've not even seen the worst yet. We've not even seen the worst yet. Terminator! Can you see the Can you see the Come on, terminate it! And drive the road. Come on, drive the road. Now here's the thing. If Terminator 1 had to be trapped in traffic before finally seeing the need to remove the nuisance on the road that many, many more people have been complaining about, it goes to a reason that they probably have not felt the pains of the people of Tem and Abokobi. That stretch is just useless. Abokobi Pantai. That place, uh, <laughs> there's some place they call container also. Totally useless piece of road. A Blaje. A line or a B line, a quiet fun. As for Bosher Road, Bosher, <laughs> it is the Wuhan, <laughs> Wuhan of terrible roads in Dom Kovina. I'm telling you, now see this. In terms of security, I have donated to the fire service, I've donated to uh, 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 the police service, and to facilitate their jobs, motorbikes, uh, uh, computers, protective wares, and all those things. Uh, uh, there are a lot of roads that is ongoing. Some have been completed, some are ongoing. Like, uh, you know about the uh, Gonse Agape road that is coming, you are about the ACP uh, uh, telecom road. The roads are so many things. I've done so much for the constituents. Scholarships, talk about scholarship. I've given uh, uh, to do, those tertiaries there. I've given two scholarships to two people to, to study medicine in Cuba. Did you hear that? You know, they brag about works done, about roads, about schools, but when you ask them about what's undone, then they say uh, their job is lawmaking, not road making. Now, back to the aggression and immediacy with which the Roads and Highways Minister ordered the clearing of the toll booth. You know, after experiencing the, toll, the traffic, you know, it beats my mind that the constituency that has had the Speaker of Parliament, where he was an MP, which now has the Minister of Procurement, who doubles as the Deputy Majority Leader, who is able to lobby to get a get fund scholarship to go and do something. You know, the same constituency with the preponderance of bad roads does not seem to attract enough attention to fix majority of its roads. Yes, some of the roads are done, I agree. But three years ago, only 19% of roads in Ga East Enclave were paved. Three years later, many of the horrible roads have become even more horrible. <laughs> even the road that leads to the municipal assembly doesn't show any respect to the people in the area.
After winning primaries by a single eight, single eight-figure margin, you would have thought that, oh, if indeed MP's jobs is lobbying her, then Sister Joy will bring her lobbying skills to bear to improve things. Chia. <laughs> Who said Chia? Then you oh, the consequence is too big. But no one ever argues that it's too big when it's fetching the massive votes for the elephants. <laughs> Instead, <laughs> oh, beautiful rose, <laughs> the people of Domi Kwabenya are enjoying beautiful babies. <laughs> but you know, Domi Kwabenya people say, hey, fine girl, no they pay. Then my rose be ball up us. So Terminator 1, if you can see this, do something. Now, Joseph has suffered in my arms. I mean, just. Go go to I also rest we're gonna see something. Rose you are rose proper rose. My lady and don't so my young winning. So my dear young winning. Now dear don't my dear day. My fan of force and force. Let's take a break before before the fall. You understand? Rock on my In Ghana, the law enjoins all drivers and passengers in a moving vehicle to wear a seatbelt. No excuse is good enough for not wearing a seatbelt. Seatbelts that are fitted in vehicles are adjustable, so please adjust it to suit you. Let it rest as close as possible to the body. As a driver, before you drive off, ensure everyone else, especially children in the vehicle, have fastened their seatbelts. The airbag is not an alternative to a seatbelt because in the event of a crash, only the fastened seatbelt will stop a passenger from being thrown far forward. So buckle up. Stop road crashes now. Stay alive. This road safety education is brought to you by the National Road Safety Authority. Two weeks ago, I had nowhere to turn to. I needed funds urgently. That's when I ran into Wafa Kofi. Ah, it's you, Wafa Kofi. Hello. It's good I saw you here. Really? You know, with businesses restarting after the lockdown, getting funds has been really difficult to pay for some of the goods in high demand. And my supply is no longer selling on credit. Sister Ma, my financial partner is Advanced Savings and Loans. Advanced stayed by my side all through the COVID crisis. They offered me grace period. They also gave me advice on how to manage my business. And now they are here to help me clear my containers by offering me a loan. Are you sure they are giving out loans even during the COVID pandemic? Yes, Advanced Ghana has you covered. So that's how I got a loan to stock up my shop. Call us on 0800-355-355 or visit our nearest branch for our various loan and deposit products. Advance, your preferred financial partner. Welcome from that break. Uh, yep. Mr. Boom is gone, so we are booming small on his behalf. When John Mahama promised to release illegal mining operators jailed for breaking laws because, ah, why are you? Why are you? Ado allowed Aisha Huan to go scot free because of uh, uh, scrums from Chinese tables, never mind the Ghana Beyond Aid mantra. No. I thought that was the most, honestly, ridiculous thing campaigning can make a man say. But here we have the most preposterous nebulous and amorphous thing a politician can ever promise to do amorphous nebulous preposterous i know many many of the youth here why you are suffering and working for the NDC is for jobs is that right yes and again take my word and mark my word that there is no party come on, hey. that is going to ask you of your certificate come on. Hey. and this word who got down his head that nobody will ask you for your certificate because they give you job. What they will ask you of is your CV. <laughs> I say I know many of the youth here. 
while you are suffering and working for the NDC, you for job. Is that not right? They say, yeah. And then again, take my word and mark my word that there is nobody who will ask you for your certificate. We will ask the youth, kill yourself. Work hard for Honorable Muhammad Yargati because he has a, he, he's a future minister. Uh, minister material. Nobody will ask you for your certificate. All you have, all we we'll ask of you is your CV. Now I don't know what to say, but I think Joshua Kamba's boss has the right reaction for this absurdity. I mean, what stupidity is this? I mean, what stupidity is this? <laughs> Fellow Ghanaian youth. You believe Joshua Kamba at your own risk. I mean, make your own decisions, but some of these things, I mean, shifts them. Uh, shifts them. If you have forgotten, uh, go and ask the Delta forces. They were asked to key themselves for jobs. Eventually, hunger was keying them so much. Some were seizing turrets, others were attacking courts and things. See, eh? even those with higher certificates and better CVs are complaining. In Wajakawi, we don't even have, we, I don't even know who is my PC. Who is, my member of, who is my member of parliament? The only person I know is Honorable Kalani Ayah who has been giving hope to the hopeless. Hey, Dr. Mahomia, you promised that one to <laughs> Like, how are you going to deliver a takeaway, Anna? Hey, this is crazy. <laughs> crazy. Anyway, anyway, one thing is, um, sure, even though the NPP and parliaments have come together to remove the seats from under Andrew Esiama and Formidable people say they are not formidable for nothing. My issue is whether it's sack or not. We are not looking at the party. We are looking at the individual. Are you getting me? The man is working. Yes. Are you getting me? NPP is a subset of Adansima. We are looking for the man who help us. We are Adansima. We are not for NPP or NDC. NDC, MPP, they are all subset of Adansima. Yes. So we are in need of the, pers the person who help us. Yes. So whether sack or not, we vote for him. Sure. Through or false, ACMA will continue next four years. Yes. Yes. Inshallah. You heard that they've, uh, they've taken a seat from the parliament. The parliament is already closed. So if you take the seat, why are you taking the seat? To? It's politically motivated. It's politically motivated. The speaker of parliament, they are forcing him, they are pressuring him to do that. And that one, it doesn't put any fear on us. What we are saying is that Lawyer Siyama is the MP for Adanse for Mena. He has spent four years for us and we want him to continue what he's doing. For Mena people say, look, sack or no sack, huh? It's Siyama all the way. <laughs> and they are asking Mr. Speaker, where are you taking the seat to? Amazing, savage responses. And you've got to love Adanse for Mena people. Funny thing is, every generation gets blessed with one disaster to lie to the next generation about but our generation especially those in america have been blessed with two 19 and donald trump here in ghana we are blessed with another prophet preness no sorry sorry actually they are prediction preness they didn't see covid 19 come they only see those who win elections and when they get their prediction wrong to her, they will blame the clouds for blinding their vision. <laughs> and then in the unfortunate event that someone important passes away, then they begin to brag that they saw the person die. Oh, fans. Prediction preness.